I'm here outside Starbucks in Los Angeles. Now, Starbucks in LA are different from Starbucks everywhere else because these are filled with aspiring writers who are working on their screenplays, hoping to write the next big movie. But we're going to go in, I'm going to make one of their dreams come true today by filming their script here in this very Starbucks. Now, the holidays are upon us. I'm feeling full of love, so I want to find a script that really reflects that. So let's go inside, see who's writing, and see what we can find. Let's go. Are you writing a script? Yes. Are you? Are you for real? What are you writing? It's called uh, Tom Cruise, Unlicensed Marriage Counselor. Imagine we're in an elevator. Yeah. I'm a huge studio executive. You've got 20 seconds before I get out of the lift. Give me a pitch, go. Tom Cruise is in a movie about marriage counselor where he's the star. So while it's married. This is me. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> So, it's a girl's trip meets the 40-year-old virgin. I like it already. Yeah, it's a group of nerdy... Is this your drink? It's, it is. What is it? Um, it's a hot chocolate. Oh, well done. Carry on. Um. <laughs> so, I like this premise, but it's not up to me. The question is, did you blow my socks off? Oh, what a shame. Nothing. No chance. Now, I don't even need to ask. I can see you are writing a script. So, talk to me about your film. So my film is called Eight Arms, Three Hearts, and it's about... Sorry, it's called what? Eight Arms, Three Hearts. Uh, it's about a man who falls in love with a giant Pacific octopus. Have you ever seen The Shape of Water? Dan is on a date and he just hits a Tinder match. Note. And who's Claudia? Claudia is his date. He just met her. Is she an octopus? No, oh, it's okay. first date. So, the, hang on, wait. The octopus is on Tinder? Yes. I would like to help you get this movie made. Okay. I want to do it now, though. Okay. Okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I drink that coffee, because we are in for a ride. Let's talk about casting. Tell me the characters. Tell me a bit about them. What are we looking for? Okay, so the first character would be Trish, who's, like, one of the big love interests. Yes. Excuse me. I'm James. How are you? Jessica. Are you interested in being in the next huge motion picture which isn't in any way a sequel to The Shape of Water. Sure. He's really upset you and I just want you to go, I've had it with you and slap him across the face, okay? Really it's called, yeah, 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 I want to see it, go. I've had it with you. No, that wasn't enough. I'll show you how to do it. I've had it with you! Okay, <laughs> don't be shy and now... I want, a, I want a full blow to the ribs, okay? A full blow to the ribs. Yeah. You yeah, want to stay on really there? Body blow seems a little extreme for her character. It does it, it feels extreme. Is it as extreme as writing a film about someone who falls in love with an octopus? I, I... The good thing is, we're in Los Angeles. I think there's a strong chance every single one of these baristas is an actor. So look at this, look. The mob. That's how Meryl Street mobs floors. How many people know that? Emily, will you play Esme, our octopus? I will. Get in here. Just let him drop. Let him go. Well, come on board. <laughs> Who do we need to cast now? Dan. All right, so Dan, <gasps> the, the main guy. The hunk. Is yeah. he a hunk? Have you ever done any acting in your life? I have not. Never? Never. What are you doing in a Starbucks in Los Angeles? <laughs> well, come on board. The good ship. Eight arms. Eight arms, three hearts. <laughs> wow. Six arms and three hearts. This feels right, doesn't it, guys? Mm -hmm. It does. I feel good. <laughs> yeah. You feel good? Yeah. I feel good. Cool. You feel good? Yeah. Go you feel good? Yeah. You feel good? Yeah. yeah. You feel good? Yeah. <laughs> feel good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next thing we need to do, we need to get this place looking like an aquarium, and we need to do it quick smart. We'll need some bags. Take them. Take them. A couple of these will be good. These. Okay. That's full of gift cards. We're going to need them for, like, holidays and stuff. <clears throat> Maybe this could work 
as the aquarium. Look. And now I'm in here, look. Fish. Look. Jellyfish. So the first scene, Dan goes to the aquarium and he meets Esma, the octopus in her tank, and also meets Trish, her handler. And when Esma sees him back, she shifts color. And the octopus changes color. Yeah, octopuses in like real life can change color. Like they're they're crazy chameleon like. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna need this in red as well, guys. Emily, I love this. This is the start of a huge movie career. Trish, you say red is her aggression color. Stay very still. Okay. I think we're ready to shoot. Connor, Connor. Look, look through, that's Taran Killam. Single parents, yeah. Taran Killam. Yeah. I know him. You do? He's been on the show, he's a lovely guy. Okay, 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 okay. I'll get this, I'll get this, I'll buy that. Oh, that's very kind. <laughs> We are shooting a movie right here, right now. Okay. Where's Con this is Connor. Hi. Hey, Connor, He's how are you? Very nice to meet you. He has written a movie called Eight Arms, Three Hearts. <laughs> okay. We would love to offer you the lead. Wow. If you could do it, but we're shooting it right here, right now. Right now? I'll be a part of Eight Arms, Three Hearts? Yeah. You'll do it? You'll you play it. Dan? I'm your marquee name, man. Okay, we will do it. I'm Dan, the role of Dan. You're the role of Dan. Is he the octopus? The actor, no, the actor right. playing Dan doesn't know yet, so we're just going to go and fire him. <laughs> okay? What's the best way to fire Dan? You tell me. Oh, dear. I always find a handwritten note is really nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Trevor, you're fired! You're fired! <laughs> it's movies. It's movies, okay? You don't need to leave. I just need you to blend in, okay? On you go. That's it. Just carry on with whatever you're doing, but just, just be your background. You should hold that while you're drinking. Thanks. And if you, if you hold it that way, yeah. and at any point, just do that. But carry on with your work, drink your drink, but just move that like that, all right? Baristas! Just a little respect. We're creating art. The Frappuccino can wait. I feel good. Let's roll, guys. Action! Connor, is that exactly how you imagine it? Yeah. Really? <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's move on, guys. There we go. You're a penguin. Perfect. I've added a little line to the script. Yeah. Okay? Make it a little bit more Starbucks, a little bit more holiday, okay? Yeah. You probably won't even notice. Just a no. tiny little line, okay? Scene two, take one. Act! Sometimes I feel like you love Esme more than you love me. Trish, it's a different kind of love, okay? Kind of like how you love a Starbucks peppermint mocha. You should leave. <laughs> and cut. You're a penguin. What's this? They don't have hands. You're like this. I'll replace you with that in a heartbeat, OK? In a heartbeat. Thank you. All right, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. All right. 
for this is it, final scene. Talk me through it. What are we trying to achieve? What do we want? What All are right. we feeling? So Trish and some volunteers bring Esma back into the tank. Okay. Esma is hanging in the balance, life and death. And Dan comes back, uh, gets to visit the aquarium again to see if she's still alive. What's Dan? What's Dan feeling in this scene? Dan, like this is all the complexity of your character down to one moment, where no matter what you feel for these two, you just want to make sure that Esma's okay. Mm. And, and this all stems from his relationship with his mother. I love that, actually. Probably. That's what I journal, so I hope it works. Okay. That's why. Now, this is it, guys. I know this has been a grind. I know that this has been tough. I need you to dig deep one last time. Because if we get this scene right, you get your tux, you get your dress. Because I'll see you at the Academy Awards. All right? Thank you, Tom. Let's, yeah, 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 actually. Okay. All right, guys. And action! Come on, guys. Is she okay? I don't know. It isn't about Emily giving Esme. It isn't about Jessica giving us Trish. It's not about Taryn giving us Dan. It's not about whoever the hell you guys are. <laughs> Without this guy, there's no arms and there's no hearts. I can only imagine that was a dream achieved. I'm preparing to be the octopus guy for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been a vision come true, seeing that there exactly as you imagined it when you wrote that screenplay. Yeah, it's funny. Like, all of my friends back home are calling me. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, know, yeah. Said, you finally made it, kid. That's I'm it. Like, Thanks. Well, all of our fingers are crossed for the Oscar nomination. Thank yeah. you for coming yeah. back. Yeah. Thank you for helping us out. We'll be right back with Evan DeGeneres and Patrick Wilson.